Hi everybody, it's Martin of Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying a crease fly, dead simple, really effective top water pattern, uh, and fresh and salt water. I really like them for offshore species, like the pelagics, mahi mahi love them, tuna, that kind of thing, right, so, uh, hook I've got here, this is a mustard popper, but you can use different, different hooks, um, what I generally do is, I, I've got like, I don't I don't use the cutters. I've got all these wee templates that I make, and I just keep these for. I write on them what hook they're for. Um, and I just match them. I've just got them in a wee box, depending on what I'm tying, what size of fly I'm tying, who I'm tying them for or what species I'm tying them for. So, thread, this is just a 210 denier thread, the colour doesn't matter. I'm using this purple up. Uh, but, whatever you like, whatever you've got handy. The only reason I'm using this is because it was already on my, my bobbin. So, tail. I'm just going to get a wee bit of bucktail. And the length of the tail is up to you. Um, it sort of depends on the sort of overall length of the fly and also the hook that you're using. If I'm I sometimes if I'm using a shorter shanked hook, I'll put a slightly longer tail. Tail will just have a bit of a shank length. And I'll just put this Long. Don't need to be too fussy. But I like to get it the length of the shank. Just chill away any waste. This gives you a nice, good uh, bit of surface area to glue onto. We bit a flash. This is a Sabai tinsel here. This blue colour, blue and silver holographic mix. This is called Deep Space. Really nice, really nice blend. fibres and I always like to put plenty of flash in you can remove it later you, know, you can you can cut it out if you feel that it's too flashy especially if you're using it on the flats um, but offshore it tends to be less of an issue often get that in there I'll just Taper it a bit, and then we'll just post this tail up a bit. This helps to stop it fouling. And then So a quick, quick finish on that. Come away. That's basically the tying done. I'll take my foam body that I've cut to my template. Basically, when you make your template, you want it to be like the hook gap will be the overall rectangle. Look twice the hook gap and then you can trim the front at an angle and taper off the back slightly. Now before I before I uh, stick it on I'm going to just go along the inside of the front face 
the red pen so I've got something like this and that's that gives you that sort of red face that we often like on our poppers and also I mean there's two reasons for it there's one that sort of people think it's an attractant but it also lets you see when the poppers facing you which is good so you get you can get a nice strong bloop so I'm just running some gel super glue foam safe gel super glue along the off side of the shank I always like to do the off side first so that I can look on the inside and what I like is for the foam body to be completely below the shank until the bend You can sort of see that there, there's foam clear and exposed all the way along. And I like the front edge of the foam to about halfway across the hook eye. Now, I usually tie these up and let them dry like that. Um, but for the purposes of the video, I'll just stick it. A wee bit more super glue on my side. I'll grab the tail and the beauty of the gel super glue is it doesn't set immediately so you've got that wee window to sort of line everything up. And then it starts to take, just make sure we get it pressed together, nice and even. And you can see there, if there's any wee open bits, it's dead easy. I'll just come in, no, you know, maybe where the glue's no spread. I'll just come in. A wee bit more. Push them together. And then I'll just take a clip, just an ordinary paper clip, like a bulldog clip. And I'll stick that there like that take away any excess glue and then I'll leave, I'll leave them like that for half an hour or so make sure they're really set we're back the, the blanks dried so I set up nice and tight I'll just take it out of the vise just to show you and you can see it's hollow nice and open at the front you've got a nice cup and the water can actually pass down the whole length of the fly. Now, some people like to put a wee foam plug in. That's up to you. You can do that if you like. I'm not going to on this one. Um, but I am going to jazz it up a wee bit with a marker. So I'll just take a blue Copic. I mean, you don't need to do this. White's white's nice enough as it is most of the time but there we go are we back in it come in with a slightly lighter blue there just to fade that in If you like, you can add gills. 
what I like to do is I'll just put a mark on the bottom. And I know that that's where the gill's going to come up from. So that they're the same on either side. Eyes again, whatever you like. lined up there we go now I like to give them a coating um, a UV resin a lot of folk use epoxy but I mean it just the it doesn't take long to yellow even though it's that wee bit tougher um, I mean you Probably could get away without coating them, really. Um, they don't last that long anyway. Uh, but it's up to you. Um, another option would be balloon hard head. You could just paint that on. That's like a water based hard cement. Just covering this up. You don't need to be like super fussy, but um, if you do use epoxy, I would recommend using like a two ton, like a, something that gives you about half an hour to work with, or longer, um, just because you can do a batch of them and then get them on the drying wheel. So, make sure and give it a nice good coating. And when you think you're relatively happy, just check all around it. You can use your vice to encourage the, the, the resin around, give you a nice smooth, tidy finish. Inside as well. And then In order just to smooth it out, once I've got everything coated, I just like to turn that for about 10 20 seconds, just just watching as the the resin spreads. Becomes nice and even, and then you can hit it with your light. Keep turning it, and that will stop it moving. If you've got any wee low bits or anything, you can come in. Get them 
midfield. That's better. Zap it, make sure I get some light down the inside. There you go, that's basically the crease fly, um, as I say tie them in different sizes and colours, different hook patterns to suit where you're fishing. Now just as a wee tip, um, with your UV resins, instead of trying to coat them with like, hard as nails or anything like that, buy yourself a, spend the 10 bucks, get yourself a wee um, a salon lamp, you'll pick one up on eBay or Amazon for very very cheap. You can stick your fly in there and that will finish off the curing. Gives you a lovely tack free finish regardless of which resin you're using.